Hello folks, Jason Christman here, JC's Bees. Today I want to discuss a couple things. It's August, you know, it's time to start thinking about preparing our bees for winter. If we take the right steps, our bees will come out in spring and be thriving. They'll build up quick and we'll be right in the summer with lots of healthy bees. If we do not take the right steps right now, what is going to happen from here till spring is our colony is going to plummet to its death. Some will even nosedive directly into the ground and fall flat on their face. Sad to say, but it's the way it is. I've learned this over the years. If you do not take a few steps to prepare your bees and make them healthy, they will die. One of the major contributors to honeybees dying during winter is Varroa mites. The Varroa mite population needs to be extremely low in order for bees to thrive during the winter. The reason being is Varroa mites infect the honeybees with several different diseases and infections. This breaks down their immune system and during the long cold winter they just can't handle it and they die. So what I recommend is you go around to your colonies and you get an average on mite populations. And you can do this with uh, the alcohol wash test or a simple sugar roll. And let me explain something here a little bit, folks. A lot of people do not like to do the alcohol wash to get a mite count because you have to sacrifice 300 bees. But when you have to ask yourself, is 300 bees worth me spending another $120 on a package in the spring because I didn't want to sacrifice 300 bees? It doesn't really justify. Um, if you think about it, on a good day, you have 300 bees hatch out before lunchtime. 300 bees is nothing. You're going to sacrifice 300 bees for the health of your colony. So this it's nothing. A lot of people get stuck on killing 300 bees, but it's been shown the alcohol wash test is the most accurate way to get a mite count. Um, you can do mite drops, you can do the sugar roll, um, you can do all these other steps to avoid the alcohol wash, but when it comes down to it, the alcohol wash is your best tool. Okay, from there what you want to do is you want to take your number of mites per hundred and you want to see where you fall. Now I believe that they recommend any more than, correct me if I'm wrong here, um, six mites per hundred you should treat. Um, last year I fell right about four mites per hundred but I still went ahead and treated just because I'm a little gun shy of not treating. Um, let me go back up here a little bit. My first three years of beekeeping, I started completely over in the spring. The first two years are due to me not treating for varroa mites at all. I didn't even pay attention to the mite load. The third year, I did treat, but I treated in November. That's a big no-no. It was just a waste of a treatment, really, when it, what it came down to. Um, when it comes time to treat your bees and get a mite count, you need to think about when is winter? When, is, uh, when do my bees go dormant? When is, is the nectar flow done? And when do they cluster? I'm here in central Ohio. This is August. This is the month I need to treat. And what that will do for me is provide enough time to have a couple healthy brood batches hatch out with a low mite count and I'll have healthy bees. So you want to have them healthy strong bees going into winter. You don't want to treat in November and then not have healthy bees. You'll still have sick bees going into winter. Um, I have so many people ask me in the spring, I don't, you know, they don't understand why their bees died. Um, had plenty of food. Uh, did you treat? Yeah, sure, I treated. I did that in November. Well, well, that was why. You didn't allow enough time to get healthy bees to go into winter. So you need to get your ducks in a row and start planning this stuff out. Um, my per preferred treatment for varroa mites is the Mite Away Quick Strip. Um, its active ingredient is the formic acid and it's a certified organic treatment. Um, formic acid is found naturally in honey, so you can do this treatment with the honey supers on. Um, it's a seven day treatment. I really like that. 
Um, a lot of people are raving about this new oxalic acid vapor treatment. And personally, um, I don't see me ever experimenting with it just because it's so time labor intensive. Um, from what I understand, you do a vape, you come back so many days later, you do it again. So many days later, you do it again. There's three trips to the hive to actually wipe out the mite population or knock them down. You never actually wipe them out. But if you have very many hives, that's all I can see you would be doing all summer is walking around vaping. That just doesn't add up in my head. So I'm gonna stick with my quick strips. But for some people that works great. And if that works for you, go for it. If it's knocking the mite population down, then why not? Um, the next thing I'd like to talk about that bees struggle with in the winter time is nosema. Nosema is a gut disease. And basically, when you're stuck in the house all winter, eating, you, you get limited trips to the restroom on warm days, you're going to have a gut disease. So if you're in a state where your bees stay clustered for periods of time and they don't get flights to go out and, and go potty, then you might think about this. Um, usually late winter, early spring when bees start to get flights, if you have nosema, you're going to see fecal matter splattered all over the hive, little brown specks everywhere. Um, and they just simply, as soon as they push off the running board, it's shoot it out. They are done. They, they can't hold it any longer. Um, this usually slows the population down from growing in the spring, and it takes them a while to start building up. So I've started to add Nozavet Plus to my uh, feeding regimen for the winter as I'm building up my food stores, and uh, it's helped me greatly. And I've noticed in the spring, they just climb right up. I mean, the, the way they build up is just amazing. So I see some things there that I really like, and I'm just continuing to build my little program on what I do with the alcohol might wash. I got the Might Away Quick Strips and the Nozavet. Got my little winter plan coming together. Now, this Nozavet Plus that I'm speaking of is hard to find. So what I would recommend is you just do a Google search on Nozavet Plus. And I believe some uh, retailers will come up and you can go to them and purchase it. Now this year I'm going to try something a little bit different than just Nozavet Plus. Um, it's called Dr. Carson's Complete and it has a few things besides Nozavet Plus in it. So I'm gonna experiment and see how that works out. Um, there'll be an upcoming video on that as soon as I learn a little bit more about it and uh, see how it works. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna link my alcohol wash video, my Might Away Quick Strip video, and my Nozavet Plus video. If you have any questions on anything I said today, please leave them in the comments below. If you watch one of these three videos and you have comments, please leave them in there and in the comments below them videos. And I will do my best to answer them. And if I'm not able to answer them, I have a pretty good following of some pretty smart beekeepers and I'm sure somebody will be able to help you out. So thanks for watching folks and I really, really hope everybody's able to follow these steps and get their bees safely and healthily through winter. So if you like the video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. That way other beekeepers can see this video. YouTube will suggest it a little bit more and they'll be able to find it easier. And like I said, thanks again for watching and hey, we'll see you next week.